What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mello. Had to change the swag up on y'all. You feel me? Still ripping my Slytherin. You know, you already know what it is. How Slytherin, bitch? Let's get it. All right, make sure you like this video, share, comment down below, subscribe, and click the bell so you know when I upload more videos. Now, let's get into this movie reaction. Okay, so this one already setting the tone for this movie. Come on, old man, don't be a, don't be nosy. If we were to do it without the boy, no, the boy is everything. It cannot be done without him. Oh my goodness, man! I will not disappoint you, my lord. Boy, Voldemort looking like E.T. Hakimi tells me the old Muggle caretaker is standing just outside the door. I've had a cadaver. Man, come on, he didn't deserve that, even though he was being nosy. Harry! That boy Voldemort, or Tom Riddle, I'm sorry, was sounding like Dobby a little bit. Bad dream. When did you get here? Just now, you. Last night. Wake up! Oh, Wake up, man, Donald. I like that lighting transition right Hell. there. That boy oh, Harry no. and Ron been having kind of oh, similar sorry, hairstyles sorry. these sorry, last two movies. You can definitely tell they best friends. This strapping young lad must be Cedric, am I right? Hey, Robert Pattinson. What's up, Batman? I guess. What's a pork key? Hurry! Free! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was fire right there. Uh, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Ron, get out of the kitchen. We're all hungry. Yeah, get out of the kitchen, Ron. Feet off the table. Feet <laughs> off the table. <laughs> I think it's just fantastic that even though we're in the fourth movie, this man, Harry, is still blown away by the stuff he's seeing. When we're apart, my heart beats only for you. Sounds like the Irish have got their pride on. <laughs> Stop! It's not the Irish. We've got to get out of here. Now! I was just about to say, man, I, I really liked this opening. It was going to be positive, you know? Harry wasn't going to be dealing with no drama, especially with his family, but now we're seeing that they're being attacked. What the hell? Wow, this is straight terrifying, man. I feel like if this was to happen in real life, it would happen exactly like this. Maybe a little bit more chaotic, you know, people being trampled and stuff. Everybody's just trying to have a good time, man, and they just came in and ruined everything. Yo, that's one hell of a way to leave a message, man. Oh, man, there's some true friends, man. They came back for him. That's what I'm talking about. pumpkin pasties please okay i see you harry the yes. boy growing up anything sweet for you dear oh yeah yeah it just walked away you feel me oh my goodness this is so cool this is how everybody's making their own unique like appearance an announcement but home to some very special guests as well <laughs> Why are you running like that, bro? And that boy's about to have a heart attack. But now, please join me in welcoming the lovely ladies of the Bo Batten's Academy of Magic. Oh my God. Damn, they look like models. <laughs> what was that? Oh, that looks so corny. What are y'all doing? Bloody hell. Oh, I see you, Ryan. You're checking out the movie. Okay. It's really nice seeing them grow up and you can see just the changes and you can relate to them on how they were growing up. Like, to me, the last movie, I really felt like there was something going on with Hermione. She was having a lot of anger problems and stuff. And I think that that was going with her puberty and stuff like that. It's a dumb string. Oh, 
Golly, you just gonna mark up my floor like that? <laughs> okay, I see you, boy. Him. Like I said earlier, it's just so good just seeing how unique all these different like groups are. Oh, that was a great shot. Professor Dumbledore, my horses have traveled a long way. They will need attending to. Don't worry, Madam Maxine. Dumbledore? Our gamekeeper Hagrid's more than capable of seeing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> Do like Frankenstein, man. Eh? The ministry has concluded that for their own safety, no student under the age of 17 should be allowed to put forth their name for the Triwizard Tournament. Silence! Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not like the Hogwarts way. That was disrespectful, man. The Goblet of Fire. Ha! Ah, because it's not the full title, so you know. Mm. He must be uh, one of Tom Riddle's followers. I know there's probably going to be some people who's going to get upset at me calling Voldemort Tom Riddle. Imperial. Don't worry. It's completely harmless. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, you was laughing earlier until it jumped on you. What are you laughing at? The torture curse. My goodness, man, what's Stop up it. with this dude? Connius is bothering him! Stop it! Dang, it was affecting Neville at some some extent. Oh. Killing curse. Only one person is known to have survived it. Okay, this dude right here is weird. He's been through some stuff. Man, he was looking at Harry like Harry knew the defense spell for Avocadabra or Dada or something. It's not going to work. A genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be fooled by a dog just pathetically dim-witted as an aging potion. <laughs> well, y'all underestimated this ready, man. Fred, ready, George. Pots him, sir. Oh my goodness. You said, uh, you said. <laughs> <laughs> right, you Dude, y'all look good with white hair, man. Man, somebody get these old geezers. Hold on, hey, don't be smiling at Hermione like that, bro. I might have to throw them hands at you, you feel me? The dumb set champion is Victor Crump. Yeah. Champion for bow battens. The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory. Yeah. All right, Rob Pattinson, I see you, bro. You better win this thing. You representing Hogwarts. The Triwizard Cup. Oh my goodness, wow. That is one hell of a trophy, man. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> the boy sat down like, uh, no, 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 no. Harry Potter! Come on, Harry. Wow, that boy Dumbledore is livid. I've never seen Dumbledore that angry. I didn't even think he could get angry like that. Of course, now you got people whispering and stuff. And You're not even 17 yet. Your mama not 17 yet. Why are you all up in my business? You don't know how old I am. See the camera movement right there in that scene, towards the end of that scene, that was some pretty good camera work. Harry! I protest! Harry, you put your name in the cupboard of the fire. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. That's one of the oldest students to do it for you. No, sir. No, sir. I'm absolutely sure. Yes, sir. Golly, I'm terrified of Dumbledore like this, man. The rules are absolute. The goblet of fire constitutes a binding magical contract. Mr. Potter has no choice. He is, as of tonight, a Triwizard Champion. Oh, I like that shot. <laughs> Yo, that was intense, man. I was feeling scared just like Harry. Daniel Radcliffe played that off real well. You know, cause you know, when you get scared, you tend to do that thing. You stand up straight and you just play with your fingers and you be like. How did you do it? Might have let your best friend know though. Let you know what? You know bloody well what. I didn't ask for this to Come happen. Come on, Ryan. Ryan always hating, okay. bro. I didn't put my name in that cup. I don't know what happened tonight and I don't know why, okay? Wow, you really ain't gonna trust your friend, bro? A 
Is this cozy? Uh, it's a broom cupboard. You should feel right at home then. Don't oh, mind if that's a, a low blow, blow man. Speaking of your parents, were they alive? How do you think they'd feel? Proud or concerned that your attitude shows at best a pathological need for attention? <laughs> this is definitely a journalist. What the hell are you doing? You're just trying to come up with anything for these people to read. God, all that bird doo doo. I know it probably stink up in there. We need to talk, Harry. Meet me in the Gryffindor common room at one o'clock this Saturday night. P.S. Ah! The bird bites. <laughs> you couldn't start off with that? Harry Potter, age 12. Suspect entrant in the Triwizard Tournament. His eyes swimming with the ghost of his heart. I chuck you back to you. That's hilarious. She started screaming when he bawled up the newspaper or trying to talk louder. And she's like talking faster too. <sighs> Serious? Now, tell me about this dream of yours. You mentioned Wormtail and Vortiborn, but who was the third man in the room? I don't know. He wanted me. So I'm assuming that it wasn't a dream. It was like a vision or something. And who is Worm Wormtail? Is that Peter Pettigrew? He don't go by that name no more? Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him that Dean was told by Pavati that Hagrid's looking for you. What? Man, just talk to me, bro. Thought we was brothers, Deems, man. Please don't ask me to say it again. Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl. <laughs> I mean, hey, they are 14, bro, so. Of course, they're gonna be childish about this whole situation. <laughs> Why so tense, Potter? My father and I have a bet, you see. I don't think you're gonna last 10 minutes in this tournament. He thinks you won't last five. I don't give a <laughs> damn what your father thinks, Malfoy. Nah. And you're just pathetic. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Harry. That boy fed up. I teach you to cross someone when their back is turned. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I was about to say, is this against the rules? <laughs> Oh, that is, yeah. oh my god, that's inappropriate, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, that boy Malfoy's never gonna live this down. Oh, my father will hear about this. Of course your father gonna hear about it, and he's probably gonna laugh his ass off. We never use transfiguration as a punishment. Surely Dumbledore told you that. He might have mentioned it. We'll do well to remember it. Okay, he's doing a good job right here, man. This dude is playing this character so well. He is just insane. Standing right behind me. <laughs> wouldn't even bother telling you what's in there. You wouldn't believe it if I did. Please tell me. <laughs> the boy shaking the freaking chest and screaming. What is that? Okay. The key is to concentrate. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, no, you don't come and talk yeah, to me. Love. <gasps> How stirring. So this girl just wanna create her own narrative when it comes to any and everything. Man, Hermione is a great friend, bro. Hermione's is a little bit too great of a friend. I've never had a friend that great. I don't even know if there's a person like that that exists in real life. The Hungarian Horntail. Oh my goodness. These represent four very real dragons, each of which has been given a golden egg to protect. Your objective is simple. Collect the egg. I really liked how they just showing off the dragons like that, or that's how they reveal them to you. That is fire, bro. Down to the cannon. You <laughs> really trying to show off that magic, you feel me? Y'all really have games like this where kids can get killed, man? But I, I shouldn't even be saying that because Quidditch kids can get killed. Why do y'all risk kids' lives like that so much? Oh, look at his teeth. Yeah, you better cheer for me, Ron. Okay, now it's got beyond dangerous because now this dragon is going to attack. Yep. See, they loving this. They don't give a damn if anybody's lives is in harm's way. This is entertaining to them. Pay attention to the sky, Harry. Oh my God. What? Why did that scare me, man? Yo, I know this is gonna be quite random, but I would love to know your house. I'm gonna ask that on every Harry Potter video. 
wow, he like damn near destroyed his broom. Harry, you just got that broom. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, okay. All right, that boy won, or that challenge. I reckon you have to be barking mad to put your own name in the Goblet of Fire. Come on, have you? Took you long enough? I told Hermione to tell you that Seamus told me that Bavati told Dean that Hagrid was looking for you. Seamus never actually told me anything, so it was, it was really me all along. After you figured that out. Who, who could possibly figure that out? <laughs> it's crazy how just some people don't want to admit that they're wrong. I mean, like, he kind of admitted it, but he didn't fully admit he was wrong. Hi, Harry. Hey. Shoot, hey, I love the Asian women. Hey, there they go, another one. <laughs> Miss Granger, a plain but ambitious girl, seems to be developing a taste for famous wizards. Her latest prey, sources report, is none other than the Bulgarian bonbon, Victor Crumb. Wow. No word yet on how Harry Potter's taking this latest emotional blow. <laughs> what? <laughs> what type of article is that? That is messed up. And then people are like, gonna believe that too. As representatives of the host school, I expect each and every one of you to put your best foot forward, and I mean this literally because the Yule Ball, a dance. Wow, all the girls were so excited and the dudes were just groaning like, oh my God, <laughs> come on, man. I would've been excited. I like that they're showing the different ages here now that these characters that we've been following are at a certain age. So they're showing people in Hogwarts that are younger, they're showing people that are older. So it's letting you know that there's different grades and stuff. I like the different activities that they've been showing throughout these movies too. Now, place your right hand on my waist. What? One, two, three. Never gonna let me forget this, are you? Never. Everybody come together. Come on, y'all gonna be shy, man? Ah, I would've danced. That's what I'm talking about, Neville. Show him how it works. Yeah, that boy Neville said, I'm about to show out, man, when that day comes. That's what I'm talking about. And how are you supposed to get one on their own to ask them? I'll say that that's probably one of the most realistic things that they've been showing. Uh, it's always the ugly girls that want to protect the cute girls and just look at you like, the hell are you doing over here? I was about to ask the girl. <laughs> I guess not now. And then that's when them ugly girls be thinking that you trying to ask them. Like, <laughs> girl, if you don't get out my damn face, nobody was trying to ask you. And then he died just when I started school. So. The hell? So that that turned you on, Hagrid? She really just ate some lice out of your beard. What about you? <laughs> okay, the boy slick with it. I just wanted if you I just wanted if maybe you want to go to the ball with me. I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, great. Wow, I really feel bad for Harry, man. I know how he feels. I've been in that situation. Get you in your gut and you just feel stupid. Hi, Harry. Hey. You look like a backstreet magician, man. No, those. My dress robes. Well, I expect yours are more I mean, traditional. Traditional? I mean, at least you'll stand out, you feel me? I look like my great aunt Tessie. Smell like my great aunt Tessie. Now, you didn't want to wash it before you put it on, bruh? Hello, boys. Hey. Don't you look? Dashing. As for you, Mr. Weasley, you may, you may proceed into the great hall with this particular. <laughs> Oh. I know uh, Professor McGonagall, she was going crazy because, you know, like I said in the last video, she got she got some swag. She got some fashion. So she was looking at him like, oh, hell no. Nah, we got to do something about this. Oh, dear, dear. Yes. No, I need you all to line up in the procession. Oh, please. wow. She looks so nice. And she went with the other champion. She looks beautiful. Yes, she does. I mean, well, yeah, yeah, but not nah, Hermione. Yes. Yeah, I think this shot right here is what made them go like, oh yeah, she needs to be a uh, bell for Beauty and the Beast. Wow. Yo, the wardrobe right here is freaking amazing. I love I'm this. With Victor Crump. Man, that boy Harry is so shy right now. I mean, hey, I don't blame him. Oh, 
Oh man, I'm loving this. <laughs> oh man, if I was really there, I would've been like, you go, Harry. Okay, Neville, I see you. The boy looking like Dracula. I learned to rock and roll. I spin around like. Is that a real band or not? I, I don't know. Y'all only people not dancing? Come on, man. Y'all need to have some fun. Okay, Hermione, I see you. Now I have your uh, arm, leg. Wow, Harry, you really just gonna let him take your date like that? That's disrespectful. I know you don't care, but still, come on, man. She can't join us. No, would not care to join you and Victor. You're fraternizing with the enemy. Who was it wanting his autograph? Besides, the whole point of the tournament is to make friends. Yeah, we mingling, bro. He's got a bit more than friendship on his mind. Oh, that's what we talking about right now? Oh my goodness, Ryan. You really think Hermione is like that, bro? That's disrespectful, bro. He's using you. How dare you? Besides, I can take care of myself. He's way too old. What? Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Never mind, off to bed, both of you. What? Are you my mom or something? The hell? They get scared Why are you mad at me? Older. Ron, you spoiled everything! Man, Ron is always mean to Hermione, man. Golly. He really just ruined her night. I, I really feel bad for Hermione. I would really slap the hell out of Ron in the back of the head. I can see that they trying to build some type of relationship with Ron and Hermione though. That boy was extremely jealous. But at the same time, I do kind of agree with Ron because I think that they're all the same age. Ron, Harry, and Hermione. I think they're like 14 or whatever. And that boy, he's like 17, 18 years old. Nah, man, nah, uh-uh. Oh my God, they showed a little glimpse of a face right there when they went into that statue. Kind of creeped me out. Is close now. Step aside, worm tail, so I can give our guest a proper greeting. Oh, that was definitely not no dream. It seemed like you was transported somewhere else, but your physical body was still here, though. Actually, we don't really talk at all. Victor's more of a physical being. Uh, I don't know about that. That's gonna mess up. I just mean he's not particularly loquacious. Oh, uh, yeah. Mostly yeah, he yeah, watches me yeah. study. You are trying to figure this egg out, aren't you? I don't know what it is, but it's like Emma Watson's ADR B. It's like, it's kind of noticeable at times. Look, I realize I never really thanked you properly for tipping me off about those dragons. Forget about it. I'm sure you would have done the same for me. Exactly. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. I don't know if I can trust you what you just said right there. I tried putting it in the water if I were you. Myrtle. <laughs> Looney Myrtle makes a return. Long time. No, see? Hell no, girl, what you doing? Come see cause where our voices sound. That kind of sound like Emma Watson singing, but I don't know who that was. <laughs> Can you even, like, do something with a ghost? You're sure about this, Neville? Absolutely. For an hour. Well, there is some debate among herbologists as to the effects of fresh water versus salt water. You're but... telling me this now? Last night, something was stolen from each of our champions. These four treasures, one for each champion, now lie on the- Out of all the movies that I've been seeing so far when it comes to these Harry Potter movies, this one really makes me wish that I was a part of these movies or just I wish that this world was real or something. Oh my God. Damn, the way he was moving around and stuff it seemed like that was painful. Well, yeah! Is that normal? Are they all supposed to be doing that? What? What type of mess is this? This is messed up. Oh. 
Oh, they went home. Only one. <laughs> they was really about to kill this dude. <laughs> this dude turned into a shark man. That's more weird than what a Harry turned into. Did these kids even know that they were being assigned to something like this? Oh, she right there. Oh, she just gave up. Oh my God. What are those? Squid piranhas? I was about to say, yeah, where's your wand at, man? Dude, Harry, like, never uses his wand. <laughs> and they got up just in time. Oh, dang. I can see why she gave up. She got a scar all on her torso. Good oh thing, God. Harry. That's what's up. That was good. Saved her even though she wasn't here to save my little sister. Thank you. So you tell me your sister was gonna die if I didn't save her? I was seeing as Mr. Potter would have finished first, had it not been for his determination to rescue not only Mr. Weasley, but the others as well. We've agreed to award him second place. Oh, oh man. Oh. That's only right, you feel me? Do save two people. I'm sure your parents would be very proud of you today, Potter. Artemius! Last boy who went into the Department of Mysteries never came out. Whoa, what's going on? He looked at him like he's seen a ghost or something. Say so the directing here is pretty cool, and I'll say the editing here is a whole lot more subtle than the last movie. And Harry, of course. Soon to be the youngest Tri Wizard champion there's ever been! Oh my good. Don't tell me that dude is dead or something. Mr. Crouch? What? What did this man do to deserve that? What the heck? <laughs> Why would I want to eat that? Who wants to eat something that will bite them back? So basically, if I was chewing on that thing, they would have been chewing on my tongue or something. Hey, y'all need to clean the mirrors, man. Yo, I think this is better than what they did in the second one with him going into the book. Professor. <laughs> Igor Kokorov, you have been brought from Azkaban at your own request to present evidence to this council. Names, sir. There was a Rosia. Also, this dude is snitch. I'm surprised he's still alive. In the meantime, you will be returned to Azkaban. No! Wait! Wait! Please! Please! I have more! Severus Snape. Severus Snape was indeed a Death Eater. And prior to Lord Voldemort's downfall, turned spy for us. Death Eater Severus and I am. remains faithful to the Dark Lord. Silent. That one dude said, once a Death Eater, always a Death Eater. I did not know that that man Snape was a Death Eater. And y'all got him a teacher now? Give me the wretched name! Bertie Crouch! Junior. Oh, that's his son? Wow. Hello, father. You are no son of mine. Oh, no wonder he's dead. Dang, that one dude with the eye, he was doing that tongue thing, and he noticed it. Congratulations, your performance in the Black Lake was inspiring. Gillyweed, am I correct? Yes, sir. Ingenious. Veritas serum. Three drops of this, and you know who himself would spill his darkest secrets. The use of it on a student is regrettably forbidden. However, should you ever steal from my personal stores again, my hand might just slip. Man, I thought Professor Snape was gonna be nice for once. So this boy Neville stole this thing out of, that's unlike Neville. I, I would never think Neville would do something like that. What? <laughs> nah, I would have to talk to him after that. And this boy, Alan Rickman, he owns this character, man. That's like inspirational. He's putting on one of these performances throughout this whole series that you gotta just look at and analyze. And this is like one of those performances that you gain inspiration from. I'll say out of all the people throughout the whole series, he's been the most consistent one. And I'll say like Emma Watson, she's been the one that's been getting better and better and better. Could at any point a contestant wish to withdraw from the task, he or she 
you only send up red sparks with their ones. Yo, if they got Slytherin shirts like that, and I'm gonna get me one. On the count of three. One. <laughs> this dude is never firing the cannon on time. <laughs> or on cue, whatever you wanna say. The effects in this movie is a lot better than the last one, which it should be. Golly, this maze is huge. Dang, it doesn't even want to offer you a warning or anything. I mean, if you get trapped, do you like die or can you get out, man? Yo, this dude always going through something in these damn trials here. <laughs> man, they, they shooting this whole scene like a horror movie or something. Bro, what the hell are you doing, Victor or whatever your name is? So you attack the girl, but you don't attack Harry? Oh man, I really feel sorry for her now. Fox. Save her, man, you gotta wand. <sighs> Harry, use your wand, bruh. This dude has barely used his wand Break during this whole movie. Up. What was that for? No, don't stop! He's bewitched, Cedric! How the hell did he get bewitched? There, Harry, get that cup! Nah, fuck him, Harry, get the cup, man! Hurry! Hurry! Oh, I like that shot right there. It looked like it's at a Dutch angle and stuff. For a moment there, I thought you, you were gonna let it get me. For a moment, so did I. Down, three. Three. Where are we? Oh snap, we in that graveyard that he saw in his dream. This is a trap. Cedric, we have to get back to the cup. What are you talking about? Ah! No! Oh my God, Tom Riddle, you look hideous. What do you want? Kill the Man, go to the cup! <laughs> Whoa, I did not think he was gonna die. When the heck did Tom Riddle get into this oh, form here? Father. Wow, so they must have been doing rituals off camera or something. Sacrifice. Rise. Yo, was y'all getting like this sense of tone from when y'all was reading the books? This is really dark. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Yo, what a freaking return, man. My one. I like how he had, like his face looks like a snake. Oh, hold out your arm. Thank you. Fast. The other arm, Wormtail. I'm afraid of stuff like that. There's been a few times that I've seen stuff in the clouds that's really creeped me the hell out. Like this one time I saw uh, something that looked like a whale and it looked like it was coming to eat me. Oh. Such a handsome boy. Don't touch him! Oh my goodness, bro. This dude really touched him with oh, his foot. I'd almost. And then you just see them toes? Should I reveal what really happened that night? Uh, yes, yes. Please be a movie villain and it tell me mine. everything. You see, when dear sweet Lily Potter gave her life for her only son, she provided the ultimate protection. Oh! Ah! Wow! 
Why you gotta touch him on the scar, man? Pick up your one, Wow, this dude Ray Fiennes, he came up. in and was just up. like, I'm about to take this whole bitch over. Your parents would be proud, especially your filthy muggle mother. I mean, that's some good makeup. I know he probably was real uncomfortable with that though. Don't you turn your back on me, Harry Potter. I want you to look at me when I kill you. I know this moment right here in the theater, people were probably going insane. I can just, I can just tell by the music right here and just the way that this whole scene is shot. Okay, Harry, I see you holding your own, boy. Oh. Y'all got something going on right here. Some type of power is happening. We can linger for a moment to give you some time, but only a moment. Do you understand? Harry, <laughs> take my body back, will you? This is straight up epic right here, man. <laughs> and they all cheering and stuff. They don't know what this dude just been through. Oh, she's alive. Good, 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 good. He's back. Voldemort's back. I couldn't leave him. It's all right, Harry. <laughs> this is turned <laughs> dark. This is my boy. This is my boy. It's all right. Oh, wow. He, he's, he's alive, man. I can't even imagine the pain that that father was going through to see his son like that. I mean, it's just so unexpected, man. I mean, just that man's screams right there is what brought me to tears and just relating to him by losing somebody you love, man. Crazy. I wasn't expecting to really cry <laughs> watching this movie. What was he like? Who? The Dark Lord. Ah! Why are you asking me that? And why are you like? grabbing on my arm like Stand that? Stand in his presence. It was like I'd fallen into one of my dreams. <laughs> oh, it was a potion he was drinking because, yeah, he he's that dude's son. In the graveyard with her others. I don't think I said anything about a graveyard, Professor. I think Cedric Diggory told you to open the egg underwater if I hadn't told him first myself. Do you think Neville Longbottom, the witless wonder, could have provided you with Gillyweed if I hadn't given him the book that led him straight to it. Why was you helping me, though, if you're an ally of the enemy? You put my name in the Goblet of Fire, but you, you, you won because I made it so butter. Blood that runs through these veins runs within the Dark Lord. Oh, you freaking creep, man. How did Dumbledore sense this, man? Damn, it took you long enough. Away from there. Oh, so that's what that screaming was? Is this man locked in this damn chest? How's this man not died from dehydration or from starvation? You all right, Alistair? I'm sorry, Albus. That's moody, but then who's... Polyjuice person. Now we know who's been seeding from your store, Severus. Oh, okay. Damn, this dude is all coming together now. <laughs> Oh my god. How did y'all even let this happen, bro? This must have been something they was planning for a long time. I really thought that Russian dude or whoever did that. I mean, he probably helped him though. I wasn't expecting something like this out of Harry Potter. Cedric Diggory was murdered by Lord Voldemort. The Ministry of Magic does not wish me to tell you this. In light of recent events, the bonds of friendship we made this year will be more important than ever. And we'll celebrate a boy who was kind and honest and brave and true right to the very end. Wow, man, yeah. Those are some nice words, Professor Dumbledore. That little kid didn't deserve that. And this movie is really setting the stakes here, man. Man, I know Harry's mind is going through so much. I really feel for him emotionally. and But that's the core thing about these movies that's holding this movie together, just their friendship, man. Besides, you know, the magic and all that. 
Wow, what an ending, bro. Mike Newell, you did your thing, man. After following up the third movie, which was doing all that stuff when it comes to the editing and the directing, cinematography, and just the interesting story. I would say a lot of people in this movie did a way better job than they did the last movie, which it, that's just supposed to happen, you know? It's just every single movie I see here, I start to get more and more of an understanding of why people love these movies and just love this universe. But I'll say this movie right here was completely different from any of the other ones past. This one is when they, I say they're starting this story here. Cause I'll say the last movie, it was like its own thing. Barely had anything to do with Voldemort. And I would say I like what they've been doing here with these movies, how the first two, it had this type of Disney feel, this childlike feel, because they were kids, you feel me? And like the older they get, the more darker these movies get, because that's kind of how you can see the world when you grow up. Uh, it's I can relate to it a lot, because you're actually growing up with these people, and you're seeing the world through their eyes, you know? Okay, everybody, and that was Harry Potter, The Goblet of Fire. It's, it's really hard for me to decide which one I like the most now when it comes to just all four of them. Basically, like I was saying, I really love the first two because of just that child, that like Disney-like feel it had. Because to me, it just, it brings me back to when I was a kid and stuff. But I really like these last two movies that I've seen because of the tone that they're showing, but also the stories that they're telling here. I'll say is way more interesting Interesting. Um, and then, you know, the performances are a whole lot better. The directing is a whole lot better. The editing is so much better. I can see like these two, these last two movies here are so well put together. Here again, I will say Emma Watson did a fantastic job, but I will also say that Daniel Radcliffe did. This was probably to me his best performance out of the four movies that I've seen so far. The guy who played Ron Weasley, I'll say he did a way better job job to me i'll say i like the story here in this one a whole lot more than the other one because it's kind of like you're watching a show say one episode doesn't have anything to do with the overall story really then that's when the next episode is going back to that main story and i'm not trying to disrespect anybody or whatever because i know some people gonna be like oh that was part of the main story or something i'm just i'm making an analogy that's all i'm saying to me i really feel like the main story is is harry potter and voldemort in the last movie it didn't really have any mention of Voldemort in there and like him appearing in the movie at all I'll say that that movie and this movie are kind of tied for me it's kind of hard to choose I mean this movie I like the performances and the story a whole lot more but the last one I really liked what they did with the directing and the editing these last two movies the finales have been on point Mike Newell did a great job directing this movie and trying to bring something similar that the last movie brought but also standing on his own. It's just really great seeing these characters grow up. I really love the costume design in this movie. I feel like the costume design in this movie was the best out of all the movies. Uh, the set design was great. The effects were fantastic. The makeup design was pretty good too. And I like the direction that they went when it comes to showing how Voldemort looks now. Now the last movie reaction, I forgot to mention my rating. So I pretty much put in a rating and it was like a nine C plus. This one right here, I'll give the same rating as I gave the last one, which is a nine C plus. Um, but I just, I really hope that y'all enjoyed watching this movie with me and you enjoyed this video. You know, please like, share, comment down below, subscribe and click the bell so you know when I upload more videos. You can follow me on all my social medias, you know, like Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all that will be in the description below. You can click those links. And if you want to see my full length movie reaction, I got a Patreon also. The link will be in the description as well. I cannot wait to hear y'all thoughts. I'm going to do my best to finish this series off before the end of the year. I want to end this year off with a bang, you feel me? With all that being said, I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace.